Hello everyone, welcome once again to Law Preps YouTube channel and I'm so happy to have Dona with us. Thank you. And congratulations Dona for you, you know achieving the college you had told Sagar sir in the very first meeting. Yes, NLS was always a dream. <laughs> right, thank you. So you know everyone, there are different type of students who come to us for admission and everything and uh, Sagar sir is not taking the interview but I am pretty sure if he would have been. So he must, he would 101% mention this fact because this is what he mentioned to me when he introduced me to Dona. Yes. So he introduced the fact that when Dona first time came for the admission, she was very clear. Like when it was asked, what did you aim, what do you want to do? And she was pretty clear she wanted to get into NLS. That was the first, that is the kind of confidence she had from the very starting. Right? Yes. So what motivated you and like why, why did, why, why were you thinking about NLS from the very starting? So uh, initially when I came for the admission, uh, I always wanted NLS, okay? There was none other college that mattered to me really. It was like, this is a bullseye, NLS is the bullseye. Because there is absolutely, in my opinion, and even in uh, the country's opinion, there's nothing better than NLS. No law college is better than that. And I always wanted to, uh, you know, get into that college. And when I came that day and Sagar sir met me, so I told him, sir, there is NLS and nothing else. So, and I was always confident because I thought that I'll work hard, I'll give my 100% and if you do that, really there is nothing that can actually stop you. And you have to manifest it along the journey. Like every day you'll have to be like, okay, this is how much a topper would work hard or this is how much uh, you'll have to work hard to get into NLS. This is how an NLS student should work hard. So that is, of course, there. Right. So, okay, Dona, so that's great. You, are, you had opted for it and you were mentally prepared for all the toiling which was supposed to be done. Yes. Um, of course, competitive exams are difficult because here one person is on one rank and it's a ruthless journey. The entire time you're there, uh, you get into that arena that, okay, this is one person have to be there. It's a it's a kill world, actually. A anybody would do anything to get into that one seat of a good college that they really want. I can so, imagine you in the corporate world. Sorry, huh. for, sorry for disrupting, but yeah. Sorry. Uh, it's, it's okay, really. So, uh, that is, of course, there, in, uh, there are teachers to always help you with that. Don't be afraid to seek help. You know, go to teachers, go to your friends. Don't be afraid of being vulnerable and say, okay, today's the day I'm really tired and I don't want to do that anymore. I also used to do that and I am a cinephile, so I used to watch a lot of movies and TV shows in the entire journey because going out will make you more tired than being at home and enjoying what you really are like. supposed to do. Okay, so that is of course there and you can always come to Anupama ma'am. She can also make like a career out of motivating. You can beat Sandeep Maheshwari of course. Thank you so much. And she's really good at it. And uh, she actually made all of our journeys easier. All of my friends who were there. And with this uh, thing of mental health, have a group of friends who are doing really well with you. It helps you to be more competitive. It helps you calm down that, okay, if they can also drop, their marks can also drop sometimes in mocks, so can mine. It's it's really that simple and it will make you work harder. Right. Actually, what happens is that when many students start preparing and when they look at the interview, they will have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the subjects now, they have this issue, because we are coming to the so, in all honesty, I did not have a very good English. I had good English speaking skills that we all have. But yes. the good English that we're talking about is excellent vocabulary, okay? Yes. I used to speak good English because um, I had I came from an English medium background. Then I used to see a lot of English TV shows, movies. So, that is, of course, there. But when you're giving the exam, it really doesn't matter how brilliant you are at that. What matters is, you know, the meaning of words. So, don't be afraid that I'm from Hindi medium. I don't know how to speak and it'll be more That's difficult. a different ball game. Huh, that's a different ball game, okay? It's entirely different. It really doesn't matter if you're in confident speaking it in front of people and doing it in the paper. In the paper, it's just the paper and it's just you. It doesn't matter what you have done in, in, in the past. Like, in the past, okay? It's just the paper and you. It's a fight. It's a war that you 
are to prepare you for. that you have to prepare for and of course try and make sure you do more and more vocabulary read more and more there can be no more emphasis on that every teacher tells you to do that and don't be that peer pressure that us coaching may they are doing that waha aise mocks ho rahe hain stick to what your teachers tell they have the best experience all of us who have got good ranks good colleges we know about our individual journeys it was easier for us that we got it in the first attempt so we didn't have to go through that difficult year of drop that is the most difficult because in that entire year the everything that you have is ba- based on that one exam that you give it's really really difficult and with school also uh, make sure that you're um, giving more and more time to your coaching and your um, clat exam rather than school school you can easily do boards in two or three months that's so the maximum that you need actually bhi bachche mujhe lagta hai boards ke waqt usi waqt padhte hain hmm yes actually in the entire school year just bunking classes having fun and rather than that um, skip on that peer pressure stay home do wileys do your modules do something that can make your future rather than just chilling should they be bunking sonia ma'am's class because she has no asked. really not um sonia ma'am uh, is a very great teacher she is very ex- like excellent at her job she exactly knows what she is doing ex- exactly knows what the children should do to get into a good college and to get through all the cr and english so everything that she tells you all the homework that she gives you the worksheets do all of them they're going to help you some way somehow you really don't know how the paper is going to end up coming and this exam uh, it's really not about how long you prepare you give it one year you give it two year give it three years you're really on the same level as everybody else because the paper is not about knowledge it's about skill the skill you acquire through practicing through that one or two years so if you're really smart and if you work really hard you can acquire that skill in a month and if you're really just after you know marks and after just that ye mock mera acha ho jaye and in this i get 100 and uh, ye section mera is bar bura ho gaya so i'll only study legal throughout the entire week that is not how it's supposed to be you have to give time to every section subject. every section every subject and if you're like i did not take math in 11th and 12th and then i'll really not be able to do qt well 10th maybe i was not very good at maths so in 9th i was really terrible at maths in 10th i worked really hard topped my pre boards boards uh, i could not unfortunately or fortunately give because <laughs> of covid so uh, it and in 11 12th i did not have maths and qt i did better than um, my fellow friends who were with maths who took commerce maths so it's really not that important in uh, qt in clat is more about you know logical reasoning than Uh, uh, in in proper CLAT, mathematics term. in clat i really did not solve all the questions i just did it on basis of one another it was, i gave it like 2 3 minutes and did all the qt i could be able to do it's really not about how much time you take to solve them and like follow your instincts this is really really important sometimes you really don't know a way out of things and just if you feel like okay i have to take risk and i have to do this then do it you don't right. have any a lot correct. of things to lose correct okay so you have talked about qt inko kaise karna hai you have hmm. talked about english ka kaise karna hai legal mein what kya suggest karoge ki legal inko kis tarike se karna chahiye so uh, personally i was not really good at legal i, I was okay really i was really good at cr rather than all of my other my other competitors so cr is a very reliable subject okay in every clat that you see cr is easy cr you really have to like read the passages the passages are smaller than english and in english you get vocabulary so if you don't know that you don't know that and in cr if you use a little bit of your brain that you have saved from all the other studying throughout the year you you can like really ace cr cr is really easy and with legal i think study the passage well all that is in there is in the passage itself and Uh, read the questions really well and with time management also i um, never really uh, skipped a passage okay my time management was good always i used to do every section there was and sometimes i did paper in like less than 1 hour 45 minutes sometimes i've left like a good paper in 1 hour 30 minutes so when you're practicing at home and you're giving mocks make sure that you're giving them in less time because uh, and practice a lot with oema it's really important mm. um some brilliant students have 
you know messed it up in the OMR and then you really lose all hope right so correct practice more so how many mocks did you appear for i gave all the mocks the that were being conducted in the coaching i used to give mocks uh, from other coachings as well i used to take prints and you can do that but th that was really not my sole focus that with because when you give it in your own coaching you know all the people around you have given that you can ask your teachers the doubts there are doubts mock ses discussions that happen and with that you can get a com a good comparison of ranks with your fellow friends and the people who come in the same coaching as you so it becomes easier so i think don't do not skip mocks that are happening in your coaching because even if you do that at home what are you doing anyways <laughs> come <laughs> here give so a mock coaching is a mock ya de do kuch nahi mock de do and don't skip on classes jitni bhi classes roz aapki coaching mein ho rahi hai law prep aap roz aao aur roz wo attend karo because you don't know that somehow in that class only you might get something in the paper and it might help you correct koi pata thodi hai ki there are a fixed number of hours that you study at your home also aur jo coaching nahi aake aapke paas free time hai usme what will you do you will watch movies you will scroll through social media don't do that social Come media coaching up i did not use social media throughout my preparation in 10 after 20th i used to use snapchat that also i quit and i didn't really use a social media snapchat streak kitni rahi hui hai aapki bahut kam thi unfortunately good, good. that's a good thing not unfortunately that's a good thing you can create one uh, now mai free bhi thi tab bhi meri bahut kam hi thi uh, it is some lazy stuff and i hate when people send those black streaks with a white line don't do that okay rather than that go solve a cr passage that's not going to help you <laughs> right correct i got to know from the class only someone who's ha huh, don't come here and make reels and you know click photos and post it on your instagram don't do that that's just lame loser stuff <laughs> thank you okay everyone so uh, so many so much guidance from dona and i believe now you are on social media yes now i am and i give it a lot of time thank you <laughs> so you can have lot of fun inspiration and i i really love the fact that you are pretty much like blunt about the facts and truth which we also want to students to be ki bhai yahi hai dekho ultimately to tumko select hona hai to padhna padega ye sab cheeze chhodni padegi sahi baat there is no easier way okay uh, kismat bahut kam logo ki hoti hai aur ho sakta hai aap unme se nahi ho <laughs> ki aapke bas us din din acha ho gaya and you are able to do that with 90% of the people it's about they worked hard like with 99 okay they worked hard they did really well and they did really well in the paper as well right so right correct because students ko bachcho ko ye lagta hai ki ma'am nahi hua to did you have any plan b plan c or something ki nahi hua to so um really i did not i knew that i'll get into nls just a joke um <laughs> so of course i knew that i'll get into a good college but then i also thought about doing journalism if i'm not able to do that because i'm really passionate about all the international affairs world affairs that have happens and i'm uh, actually i'm pretty sure you would have done good in there also huh. because the whole interview session in other sessions i have to ask so many questions in your case it's like right i'm sitting dona is managing everything huh. so that would have been great also yes, yes. so this journalism is, this also... is just simply brilliancy that is occurring here so <laughs> and i love taking interviews also that so that is also there but um, yeah so got lucky got into the college that i wanted to and Yeah, th congratulations, and I'm really proud of you. Thank you. And uh, I've met your father also. Father also like two, three yeah, times, times after yes. this. So yeah. he's actually also really proud of you. And Sagar sir also, and we all here at Law Prep. And I believe you and your friends must be really proud of the fact, right? You guys are right. His her Dance. friends are here. So yes, my friends are here. All <laughs> of them got into good colleges as well with my help, of course. <laughs> right okay everyone thank you so much dona and i yes. hope you guys had fun watching us and you'll also work hard and i hope you'll get inspired by dona thank you best of luck